We live in a world of images. From the moment we are born, our tiny little brains are flooded with images. At nine months, we know who we are and who our parents are. Hey, Mom. These images are now brands and are used in advertising in just everything we come in contact with. Advertising has been around for quite some time. Let's begin with an old generation and their reactions with advertising when growing up. The silent generation will be first. Most of their advertisement were in newspapers and magazines, but when they got too expensive to advertise, their radio was best. Not much visual there, but when speaking to with, with two members from this generation, they do remember most of the advertising catered to their wants and needs. The radio commercials would promise a better life to American consumers. Coca-Cola was great at doing this, and both of my subjects recalled the Coca-Cola Christmas advertisements being joyous, warming, and wanting to spend more time with family. Taking a look at the next generation, we have the Baby Boomers, a generation plagued with communism at its back door. USA! USA! The Baby Boomers were introduced to the radio with moving pictures, aka television, or TV for short. My parents were the subject for this interview. My father remembers having the old school black and white TV, then eventually upgrading to color while my mother always had a color TV. Everyone tuned in for Walter Cronkite, and the Jolly Green Giant was a favorite of my father's. Here, they both remember the advertisements having a lot to do with tobacco products. Just take a look at this commercial. They sure work hard, don't they, Barney? Yeah. I hate to see them work so hard. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's go around back where we can't see them. Gee, we ought to do something, Fred. Okay. How's about taking a nap? Hey, I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. That's it. Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. Winston's got that filter blend. Yeah, Fred. Filter blend makes the big taste difference, and only Winston has it up front where it counts. Here, ahead of the pure white filter, Winston packs rich tobaccos specially selected and specially processed for good flavor in filter smoking. Yeah, Barney, Winston tastes good, like a cigarette chug. The Flintstones has been brought to you by Winston. America's best-selling, best-tasting filter cigarette. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Would you look at that? Who would have thought to put a product with an iconic set of characters? Sarcasm, folks. Sarcasm. Finally, the, mi the millennial generation will be interviewed. With my siblings using everything from a smartphone to a high-tech iPad and to include computers, advertising images are robust. Facebook plays a huge part in, in the disbursement of images. Advertisements are now brands and the news comes from Twitter instead of news reporters. Pinterest is a website with nothing but images on it. Brands are very prominent there. Well, what are the differences between generations? The silent generation knew when advertisements were being presented to them mainly because advertisements would say presented by so-and-so company or this hour is brought to you by the ABC company. The baby boomers could understand the advertisements being presented, but it took a little bit longer to under identify an advertisement was being shown. This could be due to the fact that big events were taking place, such as the Vietnam War, War and assassination of John F. Kennedy. As for the millennials, they are able to acknowledge an advertisement is taking place, though they may not comprehend the whole advertisement. These advertisements are mainly a distraction to them because their attention is being focused on several other things. It would seem as time goes on, the younger generation seems to notice less and less about the brands being presented to them. I feel that one day it will be like the mall scene from the movie Minority Report, where we have personalized advertising for us because the new generation will just be moving so fast-paced, everything else becomes second nature to them. Take a look. A road diverges in the desert. Lexus. The road you're on, John Anderton, is the one less traveled. Make sure you can John Anderton. provides gourmet cuisine. John Anderton, you can use a Guinness right about now. out, John Anderton. Get away, John Anderton. Forget your troubles. Yakamoto, welcome back to the Gap. How those assorted tank tops work out for you? Mr. Yakamoto. Hey, Miss Belcourt, 
Did you come back for another pair of those chamois?